So when you think of M15, you probably think that it's just one of many, many, many globular clusters out there. I mean, there are so many, but I think this video is going to change your mind because M15 is unique. It has so much going on and just so much hidden beauty behind it. So M15 is in Pegasus. It is 35,700 light years away and it's one of the oldest globular clusters known, with an age of 12 billion years. It has more than 100,000 stars. So I love taking pictures of globular clusters and open clusters because they are often known to be kind of boring compared to galaxies and nebulae, uh, but I love going deep on them uh, under Bottle 2 skies. So I've done this with, for example, M37, where we can see a nebula inside, as well as M29 a long time ago with my Newtonian telescope, which was also a beautiful cluster, and now I wanted to get M15 and see if there was more than just stars in there. So I started a sequence with just three hours in total, uh, just because I, I didn't really expect much from it, and when processing it, I noticed some very, very faint IFN. And when I saw the IFN with such a very strange shape, I went online on Astrobin and looked for similar images. So I looked for M15 and organized the results with the most likes on top, just so it's more likely I will find uh, some impressive ones on the top. And I did find some M15 images with some great IFN, so that was really exciting. And uh, the next day, I was actually cleaning my computer uh, hard drive, and sadly I completely trashed all of my uh, M15 files, which was fine, it was just three hours anyway, but those were 30 seconds, because 30 seconds is a sweet spot for uh, globular clusters because there's just so many stars compacted so if you take long exposures it's a risk uh, so that's why I do usually 30 seconds for globulars but anyway when I realized there was so much IFN I started from scratch and did five minute exposures instead after a few nights I had uh, 14 hours of integration time on M15 and once stacked I could see some really really good IFN so IFN is not nebulosity, it's called integrated flux nebula, but it's actually very different than a regular nebula. Uh, most nebulae, for example, they get lit up from uh, one or a few specific stars within them, but for the IFN, it's more space dust that's very, very far away, uh, either very, very north or south from the galactic plane of the Milky Way, and it's lit up not by specific stars, but instead by all of the stars in our galaxy. So that's why IFN is super, super, super faint and is found usually either super, super north or super, super south. So I checked uh, where M15 was on the map of the Milky Way. And you can see here that it's super, super, super away from the Milky Way. And so that's why it's likely that there is IFN there. So it's a good target for IFN if you're looking for that. So when I saw all the IFN on the stacked image, I decided to go live and process it on YouTube. Um, live. So I spent about one hour and answered questions and all that so we could uh, process this together uh, on YouTube. And it was a fun time. Uh, I kind of went fast through it just because I didn't want to spend more than one hour on the live. The end result was cool, um, but I did continue to work on that later uh, after the live was done and really took my time to enhance the IFN and try to get rid of the noise. Because when you bring out IFN, there is just so much noise everywhere. And so you can see here the final result. So this is M15. Uh, you can see all the crazy IFN dust all around, as well as some other things, especially one interesting thing, which is uh, HA gas coming, uh, which, which seems to be coming from the actual cluster. I'm sure it's not, it's just overlaying from our point of view, but uh, from, yeah, from, our, from Earth, it looks like it's just coming out of the cluster, which is really cool. Um, I never found this on any pictures before. So I contacted Marcel uh, Dreschler, who you probably know because he keeps on discovering so much stuff non-stop. Uh, and so he checked for me online to see if there was any reference to this HA anywhere. But no, there was none. So I guess I may be the first one who has um, been able to capture this HA uh, you know, around M15, which is really cool. Sadly, I asked him if this could count as a discovery, but he said no because uh, this is most likely just cosmic H-alpha filaments, and for this, scientists don't really care at all, so... <laughs> it's not a nebula, it's not a, a new object, so if it's just some H-A gas filaments, I guess uh, it doesn't matter. So, it's still cool though, it's still 
somewhat of a discovery, which is very nice. And you might notice also very close to that there is some blue uh, color being reflected on the dust. And I'm guessing this is just uh, a bright blue star that's reflecting light on the, the IFN or the dust around it. I, I don't think it counts as any reflection nebula. That would be cool. But um, I, I'm guessing it's just some, you know, some reflection reflected light on just random dust. Kind of like you see around the Pleiades, I guess, I don't know. That would be cool though, that would be cool if it was an actual nebula. And the IFN you see here is really, really amazing looking. I love the, the kind of like the S shape or the L shape. It's so cool, it's like, it, it takes a huge 90 degree turn, which is very strange looking, I love it. There is one more thing that is not visible in the picture, but I will mention it anyway, because we talked about this during the live. Uh, so inside M15, there is a nebula called PS1. So it's a planetary nebula, and it's it was the very, very first planetary nebula to be found within a cluster that's bound with gravity. So there are only four in total uh, that's been found, and M15 was the very first one. And I think if you have a bigger telescope, uh, you might be able to, to catch that, so that'd be cool. And you might think that one of those four um, nebulae might be the one in M46, but no, because M46, the nebula is just in our line of sight, it's not directly linked by gravity with the cluster, so that one does not count. Uh, another one that counts is M22, for example. That's uh, one of the four. But yeah, now this is a great picture, I, I love it. Of course, there is a lot of noise because if you are trying to bring out so much gas, so much IFN, um, there is just no way to take care of the noise that much. So it is a noisy picture, but it's overall very impressive. And I'm very happy that I've been able to reveal so much stuff, uh, I guess for the first time, uh, in a way. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to keep shooting some clusters like this and hope to find similar things around. And uh, maybe one day, finally a real discovery. We'll see. So see you guys next time and curse guys. Thank you.